Hey there guys, it's JT here. And the game today is from itch.io if one thing changed. I really enjoy these kinds of games because it gives the player the freedom and the chance to imagine what story is trying to tell. And, uh, and another thing is I just really like to do voiceovers. Yep. <laughs> okay, so let's play the game. Where's the start button? Okay, there it is. So this game is um, made on the software Rempy. Oh god, that's loud. This game has no volume control. Please listen to this chime and adjust your system volume until it is at a good volume for you as there may be loud sounds contained within this game. I'm gonna adjust my volume. Let's make it 15. Caution. This story may contain situations that you may find uncomfortable. This story is completely fictional and it is not based on experiences, neither I or anyone I have ever met. If you are sensitive to your realistic situations, which I am not, so that is why I am playing, playing it, I would not recommend you to play this game. There are no images, just music and sounds. Like I said, text-based game. Alright, let's play the game. Mom and Dad are fighting again. It feels like every day now. And obviously, it is about me. Again. Why does it feel that this is all my fault? That I have done everything wrong? It really feels as it was not long ago. Not long ago that all three of us were happy. Aww, that's just sad. Sweetie, it's dinner time. I love food. Always have. So I look forward to all meals and snacks and candy. <laughs> I quickly ran to the table. As I sat down, a plate was set in front of me. Mashed potatoes, peas, and juicy pork chop was placed in front of me. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> I love pork chop. I love mashed potatoes in dad's famous pork chops. Nice, dad is cooking. That is new. Really any kind of meat. But his pork chops were my favorite. Peas on the other hand, I did not really like. I pushed away the plate leaving only peas spread across the plate. Nice, that's just me. I really hate peas too. Moving them around doesn't count as eating them. Eat them as well, so you will grow up smart and pretty. Oh, I'm a girl. The character is a girl. That is why there's a girl's back on the picture, on the intro, on the front page. I pushed away the plate with only the peas remaining. Honey, you need to eat those to help you become a very smart girl. Oh, okay. This is, like I said, a text-based game, so eventually there will be choices like these. Um, okay, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna follow, I'm gonna listen to my mother, eat your peas. Never liked peas, but they were never that bad. I usually had a fit over them, but I believed my mother when she said it will make me smart. Mothers knows best. I was such a gullible child, but it made my mom smile. I remember school being a different story. I was cute, but also kind of a tomboy. <laughs> Lesbian, okay? There was this one time, once at school during recess. Boy, do I miss having those. The time to play and run around when no one would tell you you had things to do. <laughs> you, you. <laughs> There's a typo, Dev. There's a typo. School girl. Hey, come play with us. <laughs> That's a good voice, right? I was surprised. I was new in the school and I felt I was already making friends. Which made me happy and well, eager to please. I was more than willing to follow my new friend. Over to a couple other children at the side of the school. Once I got there, they were gathering small rocks for whatever reason. Oh no, I think I know where this is going. They're gonna throw rocks at you because you're a new student. 
So I joined in to help gather rocks. I did not know how it happened but we changed from collecting rocks to throwing them. Oh, someone just threw a rock at a window. Next thing I knew, a window was broken. It wasn't me. Hell, I didn't even throw a rock yet. Next thing heard was, schoolgirl, I can't get in trouble. My mom will be so mad at me. Please, say you did it. Oh, really? Come on. You're my best friend. Please. Wow, it doesn't mean I'm your best friend. That I'm going to take the blame. I never had a best friend before. Teacher rushes over to us almost screaming. Teacher, how you kids okay? Who broke this window? Why were you kids throwing rocks? You're in so much trouble. He rattled on so quickly I couldn't follow how angry he was. Nice one. I just assumed that teacher is uh, is a male and I'm, and I'm right. It says he. I had to decide quickly. Oh no! I am. Am I going to be a good friend and take the blame? Or I'm going to be, I'm going to lose this one friend I have in this new school and tell the truth. I'm going to take the blame because I'm new. Um, based on, I'm, I'm assuming that my character, this girl, is, um, is an introvert. So, I'm going to take the blame. I threw the rock. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to break the window. After that, I remember being taken to the office to have my parents come get me. Oh no, mother's mad, daughter, father's mad. Felt like hours as they talked with the principal. I thought I was doing the good thing for my friend. And my friend spent the rest of my school time making fun of me. Oh, what a best friend you are. That was the first example of what being betrayed was like. I was betrayed. Never again. Thinking back, I was usually alone. I had very few friends. I had very, I had very, <laughs> because it's not, there's no space, so I had very. But I always trying to outdo what I saw others do. Jungle gyms, monkey bars, swings. Oh yes, I love swings. It was, it was where you would find me most of the time at school or at the park. I remember kinds jumping from the swings. Kids, not kinds, I'm sorry. From as high as they could to see how far they would go. And when they were done, I always felt I could do better. One day, I did. And then you tripped yourself. I'm pretty sure that is what's going to happen. That day, after the kids left, I went over and decided to cop them. Cop them? What does cop them mean? But for some reason, it wasn't enough. I got on that swing and went as hard as I could, as high as I could. I wanted to fly. I closed my eyes and I felt the rush. As I flew up and down, back and forth, the wind rushing past me. That is when it came to me. Oh no! Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. But I want to, I want to fly, so let's do that. At the highest point, I let go. And I flew! The wind rushing past, my heart fluttered. Then I opened my eyes. I made a mistake. I didn't think. <laughs> I'm gonna fail. I was a kid after all. I failed to remember that I would have to land at some point. I screamed as I looked down from what felt like miles. Seconds felt like minutes. I watched the ground come toward me then. Oh! Oh god. Based on that sound, I think I just broke something a bone or maybe my head because it's like a splush <laughs> oh damn I think oh damn <laughs> it was a mistake
letting go. I couldn't remember much. Adults running toward me. Sirens, blood, and pain. The pain. Eight weeks. Eight weeks I was in those casts. So I broke my arm. Damn. I broke an arm and a leg. Nice. I mean, nice that I was right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Must have cost my parents a fortune. I'm sorry. But I got hurt so badly and they put me on some pill. I couldn't feel anything. Pain. Emotions. For one of the best feelings of my life. It took a heavy toll. I never got on a swing again. I'm getting goosebumps right now. And this is becoming very sad and sad. Wow. I feel like my childhood was awkward. Still seemed rather than normal though. <laughs> that spelling of dough though. <laughs> Let's continue. My teenage years to the overhand, other hand were scarier. Once I hit puberty, it wasn't all angst, hatred, and boys. Well, maybe a boy. My teen years were heavy. Memorable. It brought me far more than then, not then, than I expected when I reached high school. I still was not very social, but somehow I managed to get a boyfriend. Oh, I thought you were a tomboy. Everything went so fast, yet felt slow at the time. Just a blink, and it was all gone. Damn, this girl experienced very heart, every heartbreak possible. No, 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 I'm not gonna let that happen. But that day, I could never forget. We had a dated long when he invited me to a party. He was only a year older than me, so it was not anything special. He was mature. When we arrived, it was different. Not what I remember a party to be. The air was thick, almost unbreathable. Oh, they were smoke. They, they are smoking weed. There, girl. Everywhere, look, there were kids of all ages. And I mean, there were kids that I look that looked like middle schoolers. What? They were all. Kissing, making out, smoking. I was curious and yet disgusted at the same time. Despite knowing it was bad, I wanted to try it. I wanted to fit in. And my curiosity. No sooner do I think that. Then he came back with booze and I think it was a cigarette of some kind. He offered both to me. I want, I want to fit in gonna go it is not like I was doubting my morals but I didn't want to offend him and I wanted to know what it was like I almost gagged while trying to take a sip of the drink I still don't know what it was but it burned trying to smoke was no better a horrible feeling that I couldn't breathe <laughs> yeah I, I, I also uh, experienced that the first time when I um, uh, tried a cigarette for the first time, I, uh, I couldn't breathe. As I started coughing, I felt the whole room judging me. He urged me to inhale it in and hold my breath. Hold, holy mother of, that was a bad idea. At that point, I don't remember anything. That's a lie. I remember more drinking, more smoking, spinning, music, colors, lights. <laughs> She's drunk and being on the floor a lot He also remember me and him kissing they were kissing Going far far farther than we ever had that is farther. There is no R there. There's a typo dev or That I wanted to do too at that point Though with all that was going on everything was a yes Good news We didn't go that far <laughs> I think she's talking about sex. That happened a few years later in life. We almost did. Oh 
Oh no! Sirens and the door being busted down. Oh, the police! But the sirens and the door being busted down kind of killed the mood. Not to mention being picked up at a police station on what I did not understand. I was grounded for what I felt like forever. And it seemed like lectures every few minutes. For months, I was trapped. I can't say all my memories were bad, but it never seems to be the good ones I remember. Shopping with what friends I did have was always a blast. We ate food, got clothes, drooled over cute guys as they walked by. It was always good fun. Until we had a few new people join our small group. We met them one day at the mall. They were way too cool for us. I don't remember how the friendship began. But I know how it all ended. The last time I ever I ever I ever enjoyed shopping, I ever no, there's no why. There shouldn't be a why there. It seems like a distant memory after what happened. Dark chocolate is my favorite. I was spending all I had for my stash at home. It was running low. After I gathered my hoard, it turned to our new friends and saw them. Sticking stuff in their pockets? They were signaling me to come over. I didn't know why they were, but I had an idea. Hey, grab a couple of these. My pockets are full. They are stealing! Mine too! Hurry up! And don't worry, we do this all the time! <laughs> <laughs> My voiceovers are just good. <laughs> I know this is wrong, but it sounded exciting. Something to brag about. A story to tell, even if it is small. That does look tasty. I'm going to steal. The next thing I know, a couple of mall cops come up behind us. This girl, you know, she always gets in trouble. Well, I always get in trouble because I'm the one playing. So I'm very bad at playing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm making this girl bad. We are then escorted to some room in the mall. After they lecture us and made a few phone calls, we waited for our parents. You know, maybe my parents, I mean, the character's parents are just so mad and mad at this girl. <laughs> she always gets in trouble. I just couldn't believe this happened. My parents still bring it up even now. And it's just not fair. I was banned from the mall for life. The biggest turning point in high school years was not even about high school, it was about driving. I always wanted to drive, to have the freedom, the speed, ability to get away. Even after my license, I was never allowed to use the car, or so it seemed. Oh girl, I got my chance when I least expected it. I, I drive in movie, a drive in movie, no date, just me, the fresh air, and the movie food. It was just a night I had no one to watch over me. The movie was a double feature movie that had been in terrors for a while. So it was to be a long night and I was going to love every minute. My bladder didn't agree. <laughs> I don't want to miss part of the movie, but I really need to go. And the movie's just getting so good. I was beginning to regret buying the jumbo soda. I'm gonna hold it. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna go to the hospital. In order not to miss anything, I chose to hold it in. Probably the worst choice I have made. Why is that every choice I made is horrible? Bathroom related anyway. <laughs> Not even 20 minutes later, I exploded and then wouldn't stop. Even though no one could see me, I was so embarrassed. I went to the restroom and cleaned myself up, brought back as many towels as I could. I tried to clean it up as fast as I could, though the smell stayed. I finished watching the movies. Yes, I stayed. Not only to see what I paid for, because I couldn't pay attention to the movies. 
How was I going to explain this when I got home? Oh, so that is what, so that's what's on her mind. Car had to be professionally cleaned to get rid of the smell. But my dad wasn't mad when I told him. He was actually laughing. Then he said, and I quote, I did the same thing once, and at least you weren't on a date. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. I can't even scratch the surface of my experiences. But some of the biggest things happened when you have to be an adult. After high school, I was forced. Well, not forced. I was suggested to get a job. Parents are such pain. Well, it wasn't a bad idea. Ain't that a bad idea? Since I wanted stuff, and that requires money, though it took me weeks and what felt like hundreds of applications, I would work anywhere at this point. Finally, the time came. Just as a waitress, but, but who am I to complain? It was harder than I thought it would be, but it was pretty, according to all the customers. Which got me tips, really good tips. I was making more than I ever thought I could, would. But as the weeks went by, it's just like my checks were getting smaller. I tried to bring it up to, uh, to the owner, my boss, and he just kept brushing me off, saying that I'm getting paid for what I work. I told my parents, they told me to keep track of my own time. I wanted to trust my boss, but I kept track anyway. My next check was even lower than before, and my record showed that I should have been paid more, a lot more. I brought it to the attention of the boss when I was off, and he responded with all these wild excuses. I tried to fight him on it, demanding my money. Give me my money. Give me my money. That's my money. Boss, you are replaceable. Complain again, and you're fired. He walked away out of the office for a break, which he did 40 times a day. I noticed something after he left. The safe as is open with a bunch of cash. I worked hard. I wanted what I earned, and I was going to take it to find another job. Oh. This is gonna be a hard one. Well, I got in a lot of trouble, so I'm going to do it again, I guess. Take what you are owed. I took what I thought I owed to me. Didn't want to steal, but I wanted what was mine. Left my apron and told everyone there I quit. It was enough to get me by. At least when I found when I found a different job. Which eventually did what far better pay and a great boss. I feel a bit bad, but I don't regret what I did. I don't regret it at all. With all the things in life, I remember the scariest moment of my life. Okay, this is now the scariest moment. Met a guy and he asked me out. What a beautiful night. And such a great date. He was charming, romantic. Caring, everything you would hope for. At the end of the date, he offered me a ride home. I declined. I wanted to walk home on such a great night. But shortly into my walk, things changed. I saw something off in the distance near an alley. A kid was waving his arms at this homeless man. I decided to go do a little investigating. To what was going on though as i got closer i saw he had a gun he was waving a gun around at the man is it real wait is he robbing the guy how dense am i how uh, am i of course he was you know the best thing to do here is not intervene because you might get in trouble i mean you might get shot or something. Be Hide and call the cops. I stayed back and silently called the police. Tried to make sure I was hidden. 
I wanted to be far away, I wanted to leave, but I barely could dial a phone, let alone run. While on the phone with the police, I watched the poor guy covered in fear, but still refused to give what little he had. This seemed to piss the kid even more. Suddenly, the homeless man jumped at his attacker. Someone's gonna get shot here. Oh! My heart stopped. Watching the homeless man's buddy fall to the floor. His shooter rummaged through his body. Then ran off. I'm getting goosebumps! I dropped my phone with 911 on the line. Ran to him as fast as I could. There was no point. Lifeless. Motionless. He was dead. My whole body is getting goosebumps right now. And I feel like crying right now. <laughs> Could I have done something? As everyone was running around, I couldn't keep track of anything. Just stood there motionless as the sirens and lights surrounded me. I was questioned for a while about the description of the shooter only to find out that my memory couldn't recall anything but a vague description. All that was crossing my mind, that image was burned into me. It took me weeks to recover, and I still haven't gotten over it. My parents described me as completely unconsolable. I felt like I could have saved him. I can't escape how much trouble I feel like I have caused everyone. Mostly my parents. Being an adult has never made me want to be a kid again. Every day you wish you could just be carefree and irresponsible again. That's it. Screw being an adult. I went got drunk. I mean everyone. Did not care what gender. One guy offered to buy me a drink. I was not going to pass that up which was unknowingly one of the worst decisions of my life. Oh no, don't ever, don't ever accept a drink from a stranger. Something was wrong. I was not okay after that drink. Everything started feeling weird. Think I was drugged. The night just got worse from there. He got me into cab heading somewhere. I was not in control of myself. I wanted everything. But wanted to get away at the same time. My brain made me, made me relieve all of my bad experiences. And all it was, I was shutting down. And being drugged didn't make it better. Next thing I could recall that he was touching me. It all changed. Wish I was good and did everything right. Couldn't move. Couldn't scream. Couldn't fight back. This is all my fault. Somebody saved me. The cab driver, barely after we started moving, slammed on the brakes, looked back and asked me if I was okay. I could barely shake my head. Apparently it was enough. The cab driver busted out, out of his door and ripped the guy out of the back. Punched him cold in one shot. This cab driver, I have no idea what he looked like. And it didn't matter. He saved me from a horrible experience. Thank you! Thank you, cab driver. Bless you. Before I pass out, he managed to find out where I wanted to go. With the barely audible voice I had. Home. I choose home. He took out my phone and called my parents. I couldn't stop him even if I wanted to. My parents met him at my house and they helped me inside. Instantly fell asleep then woke up alone. I started crying and couldn't stop. If it wasn't for that driver, my dad called and lectured me on my poor decision making. Yes, do not take a drink from a stranger. And that I should have been more careful. 
hang up and continued to cry. <laughs> Until I fell asleep again. I love my parents. They have taken such good care of me. Through everything. I can never thank them enough. But that is when it all happened. No. No. When everything changed. No! No. It was. Had to be. To have been. Had to have been years now. It's hard to keep count like this. Just a normal day coming home from work. Nothing special. I lived close enough to walk home every day. Only a few blocks, occasionally pick up a coffee. Waiting. The sign changes to walk. I start crossing. About halfway into the street. No. Oh! I was hit by a bus. Since the accident, I had been in a coma. But I can hear everything. Every word the doctors have said. Every single thing my parents fought about. I wish I could tell them one last time. I am sorry for what I have put them through. Oh God, this is so sad. I think I'm gonna cry for real. My parents are still fighting. It's all about money. Me being a burden and that they can't afford the care I need. Even the doctor is saying that I won't be coming out of this. Oh God! Oh my goodness! And at this point, I don't think I want to anymore. But it's not like I have had a choice. And I can hear them. I don't get one now. They are coming. If I had one wish, I want to tell them thank you. And that I love you both so oh it's the bad ending oh god that is oh my goodness That is one hell of a story. And I just want to say to my parents that I really loved them so much. Even though uh, I have, sometimes I have, I'm, I'm being a bad son. Oh my goodness, this game made me want to say that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to change the ending. So I'm going to play again. I'm going to try all the possible ending. Let's go for the good ending. I'm going to try the other choices okay let's do this okay so the last time I ate my piece I'm not, I'm not gonna eat my piece you won't get any dessert if you don't eat them angry at facing the no dessert I hit the plate without thinking and the piece and food flew through the air and hit mother oh god <laughs> she's going to be pissed I just remember her yelling at me after that and being sent to bed so my mother is mad at me and my best friend will be mad at me. She threw the rock, I said as I pointed to my new friend. As soon as I did, the other kids pointed in agreement that it was her. <laughs> Last thing I remember of that was the pain of her screaming. I hate you! I hate you! You're not my friend! Those words echoed in my head and it hurts to think that I betrayed a friend. But I was just telling the truth. Why did it hurt so much? 
truth, well, the truth hurts. The truth hurts. I'm not gonna let go this time. I felt so free, but then, in, but I then opened my eyes. Everything was moving so fast, I almost lost my grip. As I approached the ground, I slammed my feet down to slow myself. I got caught on something. Scrapping at my face as I tumbled, rolled away from the swing set. I wondered what would have happened when I, if I let go. Then you're gonna get a cast. You're gonna break your leg and arm. But my parents were freaking out as, at what just happened. But what, what, what I remembered after that was the best ice cream of my life that day. <laughs> nice! I got an ice cream! I'm not gonna take the cigarette and the drink. Refused him. After that, I refused. It was too good for all of this. People started talking and I started to get overwhelmed. I needed to step outside for a bit. After getting some fresh air, I realized that he never came to check on me. Which made me a little upset, so I went to find him. And I did. Shh. He's kissing someone right now. I shouldn't have done that. He was all over another girl. It was devastating. They were almost half naked. Oh, man. <laughs> they are fucking. <laughs> but in the middle of the party? With the dozens of people around? Well, they are high as fuck and drunk as fuck. How could anyone? He noticed me standing there, mouth capping open. And the first thing he said, I just couldn't believe it. I thought she was you! You said you didn't have a girlfriend! I did get some sense of justice when she slapped him. <laughs> Aha! That was it. I walked home in the cold by myself, crying. My mother caught me as I entered the door and we had a long talk. She told me so many things that made me feel better about her experiences at my age, but it still made me have trouble ever trusting a guy again. I'm not gonna steal. The next thing I know, a couple of mall cops come behind us. We are then escorted to some room in the mall. After they lectured us and made a few phone calls, we waited for our parents. I just couldn't believe that this happened. My parents still bring it up even now. And it's just not fair. Wait, I, I didn't steal. Well, me, well, I'm, well, those are my friends, so I think I just um, go to the restroom. I couldn't hold it in. I had to go. I jumped out of the car, leaving the door open, and rushed to the restroom. Someone's going to steal the car. I think. I hate public restrooms. After washing my hands and feeling relieved, I headed back to the car. Now where did I park? I, s I swear it was over here somewhere. Wait. No. No. It can't be. It's been stolen? From a drive-in? How? This isn't fair. Why me? Why now? Why? After I calmed my head, I headed back to the food stand to use their phone and explained what happened to my dad. He went off the rails. I was irresponsible for leaving the keys in the car and there was no security cameras at the drive-in. Police never found the car. My dad said the insurance wouldn't cover it. Just another simple choice gone horribly wrong. Damn. Alright. Stuff your pockets, take more. I'm gonna stake more. I took the money and quit. But took too much. He reported the theft. <laughs> Freaking hell. It got to me a couple days later. I was arrested shortly afterward, starting my criminal record as an adult. I had to rely on my parents to bail me out. I should have just quit. The money wasn't worth it. My parents had to bail me out of jail for a sizable amount. Me, try and intervene. Hey, I'm calling the. I didn't even finish. Ah, oh, like I thought. Like I thought. It felt a searing, tearing pain. Creeping through my body. Stars. I saw the stars. It was quiet. Other than the faint fruits of someone running. Next thing I remember was I felt someone touching me. Feeling around. 
being out of it. I couldn't think. Was it the homeless man? The kid? Were they robbing me? I want one! I want one was just shot! He had been searching for my phone. And he's trying to save me. Everything just went dark after that. I woke up in the hospital. I freaked out when I woke up and nurse had to calm me down. I had to be rushed into the ER because of the blood loss. That is all I knew of what happened. I wish I had a medical insurance. The bills were astronomo what? astronomical. I had to ask for help again. The important thing is that I'm alive. That man saved my life. If he didn't call when he did, I might not to be here. I can't escape how much trouble they felt like I have caused everyone, mostly my parents. Being an adult has never made me want to be a kid again. Every day you wish you could just be carefree and responsible again. That's it. School being an adult. I went got drunk. Okay. I uh, know that one. Okay, I'm gonna tell not home, I'm gonna go go parents. He took out my phone and called my parents. I couldn't stop him even if I wanted to. My parents gave him the address and they dropped me off. Parents helped me inside and took me to my old room. I hadn't been there in so long. He almost looks and changed. I felt safe and fell asleep. My mother woke me in the afternoon. I started to cry about what, it, what had almost happened. She mother talked me to for the rest of the day. Later that night, my dad brought me one of his famous pork chops. Oh, it was the best fucking pork chop ever. I love my parents. They have taken such good care of me through everything. I can never thank them enough. But that is when all happened. When everything changed. It was, had to be, have been years now. It's hard to keep count like this. Just a normal day coming home from work. Nothing special. Okay, this is where he's, she's going to get hit by a bus. I love you both so. Uzis, I'm getting Uzis. Bad ending? Still? Hmm. Damn it. Ah! I'm gonna try to get the good ending. Just wait. Okay, so this is new. So I think I have made something, some change. Telling the doctors saying they are doing enough to save me. They have been moving me from different hospitals. Okay, that is new. Seeing the best doctors they can get. Spending every penny they have. I, have, I hear them I hear them talk about how good I have been they were able to save and invest to become well off and they will spend everything give up everything just to bring me back my prayer my mother cries at my bad side and I can't do anything to comfort her to comfort her recently they have been moving me back and forth from one place or another room to room hospitals to hospital Inject me with stuff? It really hurts. They, they think I can't hear or feel. I wish they were right. I hear it all. I feel it all. My parents, they love me so much. Doing everything they can. Trying to do everything possible. But, I think, I... Call the parents! Is there a problem, doctor? Call the parents now! She's waking up! <gasps> I'm alive! And that, my little one, is what happened to mommy. I feel if I did even one thing differently back then, I may not be here now. Oh, she became a mother, so she's alive! You might not be here now. And why every day I tell you, you that I love you. Just in case. I love you too, mommy. Oh! Good ending. Yes! I got the good ending! 
finally, after a lot of tries there. <laughs> Thank you for playing. Them fish sounds by YouTube can make has a <laughs> nice sound effects, door kick town, heart rate monitor line, okay, copyright free. I love you too, mommy, my niece Kiwi. Aww. Oh nice! I finally got the good ending. <laughs> I just really want to say I love my parents. I really love them so much. And to my future children, if I will have future children, I love them too. But I don't think I'm going to have one because I'm not going to talk about that. Okay, so if that is, that's all. That's all for if one thing change. One hell of a story, one hell of an experience for me. It gave me goosies. Uh, it, um, yeah. It made in at some point it made me think my past on the things I have done wrong that um, I have that um, if I could just go back to that at that time and change everything but I'm happy I'm happy on what I am now I'm happy on what I'm doing I'm happy on where I am my family still here my friends why am I being emotional right now? <laughs> Whatever. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to check this out, if you guys want to play, I'm going to leave the link on the description. Try this yourself, guys. It is better to play this game by yourself than just watching. But of course, watch me first. If you are listening to this right now, you have watched me already, so that is good. Thank you again, guys, for watching. Please do leave a like if you like this video. Comment down below of what you think about this game and how I played it. How's my voiceovers, guys? I know I did great. I know. And subscribe for more. Yes, there will be more videos like this to come. So thanks again, guys, and salamat. I'll see you guys in the next video, and this is JT. Signing off.